Hey guys, what's up? It's Chief Force Gaming here back with another video for you guys. And today we are gonna do another tutorial video on screen recording softwares. So my first tutorial video, I showed you the top three screen recording softwares of my choice, and I outruled OBS out of all three. Now the reason is because OBS gives the best quality for game recording, no lag, absolutely free. So I'm going to show you how it works. So currently you see my desktop screen and I have OBS running on my other screen so I'm going to go drag it right across and for all you viewers out there who think my screen is going nuts, it's not, it's just the preview screen. So get ready. Here, I'll wait, here, I'll, yeah. So as you see, you see a very long weird mirror thing. Just don't worry about that. That's my preview screen. So this is what I see on every, all my games. So I would have the game on this preview screen, and then I would have the game on the other monitor screen. That's what it's recording. So I would look at this to make sure the game's actually recording and that there's no lag. So if there's a problem, I'll stop recording, fix it, and then start again. So it's basically a nice way to see what you're recording, if it looks good, what it looks like, all that type of stuff. So let's get started so this is your preview window I told you just about it um, all it is just preview what you're recording let's move down here so don't mind about this preview screen just look where my mouse like on the bottom of it um, so what you see now is on the very bottom you see the frames per second that you are using the uh, I think it's like the speed or something in kilobytes um, drop frames and then the time you're recording so you can record for unlimited time until your computer completely fills up with storage or video for storage um, but yeah that's your time and then we have the part that um, I need to talk to you about so what you see here is you see my microphone um, you see my the little green line is when I talk so if I stop talking it would just drop like this and if I start talking, the green line will show up. If I make a really loud sound, it will fill up the whole bar like this. Yeah. So that's the sound it makes. Um, this is your game sound. So it's basically getting the sound from wherever your game audio is going. So in this case, my headphones. If you're doing it off your computer speakers, you can change that in the settings. I'll, talk, I'll tell you guys about that later when we go to the settings. Um... So we have the game volume, the audio volume. By the way, you can just click and drag the audio for your games as well as your microphone. And, and up. I usually keep my game audio, my microphone all the way up and my game audio thing at 40 because usually my game audio is pretty loud and it outrules my audio that I'm talking. So I just usually keep that down. If I need to um, put the game volume up, I'll take my, I'll slice my audio and then um, increase the game volume when I'm editing. But that's for another video. So next we have settings, which I'll get into after this. We have edit scene, which basically lets you change your screen. So let's just click that. And now we can change the screen. So now I can move it all around. I can zoom it, I can do whatever. So that's how I get into my, um, that's what I do when I'm on a web browser and I get those ads out. I just use that zoom in to whatever I'm playing and then it looks pretty good. Uh, global sources, I haven't really messed with that. I wouldn't re mess with that either. Plugins and global sources, I wouldn't really mess with that because they're just two things that would make your life harder if you press those buttons. Exit just basically close the program. Preview stream is when you're not recording and you want to preview the stream. So it looks like exactly like this, but without recording. So you can check if your screen is looks good, your game's all together, and yeah. So then you have to stop and start recording and then start streaming. So you can also stream to Twitch and whatever stream service you use. Um, it also uses stream codes and all that type of stuff. We'll be getting uh, to all that stuff in the settings. Um, scenes are... Um, Alright, so let me stop right here. Scenes are like a 
basically a folder of video sources you can go to. So I, I just have one video source, but if I create a new one, my screen is just going to go black. Um, so I'm not going to do that right now. But what you see is webcam, which I haven't programmed yet, and Thing 2. So Thing 2 is what you're seeing right now. It's my desktop screen. That's what I usually use to record all my games. So if I switch in between the webcam and thingy, so if I turn off thingy, it just turns black because I don't have any thing on my webcam. So if I turn off webcam and go back to thing, um, it turns back on. So you can create any source by just right-clicking, add, any window capture, monitor capture, image, image slideshow, game capture. So I just usually do window capture. You could just name it, let's just name it game. Click that. And then we can just click like explore. So you can, if you have a window open, like let's say you have Call of Duty or uh, some like World of Warships or something. I don't know. You can um, find that. It would just find a pop right here. And if you just open it, you can just re refresh. And then you can do that. So my just phone exploded. Sorry about that. Um, but it would show up here. So I have Window Explorer open. So I just click that. You can do the entire window or the inner window and capture mouse cor cursor. Jeez. Um, so it captures the mouse if you don't want it. It's like if you're presenting, you don't want it. Um, I don't really worry about these, all this stuff down here. I just do it. I mean, base resolution, that type of stuff. So yeah. So that's some um, setting sources and stuff. So um, let's get into settings right now. So what you first come to see is you see general. So if you're from another country and you're watching this video, you can change the language to whatever language you guys speak. Chinese, whatever language, but I speak English. Um, I don't really use, I, I, you can create a profile, but I just keep everything. So you can look at my settings and add them if you have OBS, because um, if you like my game quality, then you can use the same setting as mine. It all depends on the um, performance of your computer. If you have a really good computer, then you can use these settings, or you can use any other settings, settings, not settings, or your personal preferences. Um, I just use the ones that are perfect for my computer, because um, my computer is a nice computer, but it can be a little wonky sometimes. So it all depends on what you do so I just keep enable cursor over projector um, English all that type of stuff so let's go to encoding so this is where some of the magic happens so this is where your video and audio encoding is so I usually select encoder times 264 I uncheck use CBR uh, phone shut up jeez I'm gonna mute you yeah, come here phone yeah done Shut up. Go away. Sorry, guys. So my phone's being a douche. Alright. So, using CBR is basically using your, um... Wow. Jeez, I don't know what... Ah. Uh, it's basically using your internal built-in memory. It's basically using your most of your computer's power. Processing power. So, let's just say you're playing a game. Your frames per second are extremely high, 60 frames per second. We'll just say you're playing a game that's 60 frames per second. And then you start recording, and then you have this on. It just takes your game quality, your 60 frames per second, and probably bumps them down to 30 or 20 frames per second. And that sucks. So I just usually turn that off because it just totally craps up my game. So it just depends on your uh, what game you're doing. How powerful your computer is and all that type of stuff. So, let's go down. The quality balance, I just keep it at 9. I'm not a big guy. If you have a more powerful computer, you can go to 1 or 2. But since 9 works out pretty good until I, um, yeah. So, max bitrate, I just do 10,000. Um, it's, it's an average bitrate. Um, it's your buffer size. So, let's just say you're recording a 20 minute video. It all depends on your buffering, so it just depends how fast everything loads up and chunks and stuff like that. So for codec, I use AAC um, for audio encoding. Um, 
I use custom buffer size and buffer size zero. Um, codec AC format 48 kilohertz, bitrate 128, and channel stereo or audio. Yeah, that's it. All right, so let's go to broadcaster. Uh, no, don't save it. All right. So this is where your files are saved. So I do file import loading, but if you're doing a live stream, you can add in your um, stream key, uh, wherever you're saving your files when you stream, um, wherever you're saving them. But I just usually do file output. So I have them saved into my laptop, to my video folder. Um, you can change them wherever you um, save your files, like on your desktop or pictures, music downloads, a folder somewhere I don't know I just save them on my desktop so you can pick them uh, pick anywhere uh, I don't really play with the buffer path because that's just usually there for something but yeah so let's go to our next thing video no don't change right so I have a video adapter it's an Intel HD graphics um, if you have a different video adapter it would pop up here you can switch in between. Uh, my custom resolution is 160, 1680 by 1050. Um, aspect radio, aspect radio, aspect ratio. Jeez, wow, I'm way behind. Um, is 8.5. Resolution downscale is 1.5. Now, if you have a more powerful computer, you can go up on these numbers. But since I like to keep mine simple and not crapping up my computer I keep it a little bit downscale um, it all depends really what you guys have for a computer uh, now this is what this what gives the best this what changes the size of your file so if you have this it would give a a smaller file if you have this um, good detail that means that your file is going to be a little bit larger than usual and if you have this it basically makes your file in the gigabytes now if you're recording a long video like 20 to 30 minutes that ought to be, that ought to be 1 to 2 gigabytes of um, video and I don't like when stuff fills up my memory I have like four backup drives but I just don't like when it fills up my internal memory because it's like total crap that's because that's where I store my games and stuff so frames per second I'm not gonna tell you what frames per second you guys should use but I use 35 because it runs smoothly on my computer not a lot of lag and the image quality is pretty good um, if you have a little bit bad if you have a bad computer um, I'd go for 30 or 25 because this is what this is what's taking off your game um, frames per second. So if you're running 60 frames per second, and you have 35. You'll probably go to 50 or 45 frames per second. But it's not really a big change to your game audio and your game video and stuff. So let's go to the microphone. So I use the HyperX gaming headset, um, but this is where the audio comes in. Now this is pretty cool. I like what OBS is doing. Here. So this does they can change your audio. So let's say you have your headphone plugged in, but you have also some speakers, some Logitech speakers or something like that, and you have plugged into your computer. It would show up here as some as some speakers right here. So I have a microphone, my um, computer speakers, my headset, and my default speakers. So what I'm using now for my game audio is my headset. So whatever audio plays from my headset is going to play on the recording. So that's what you guys hear in my videos. Um, my microphone, I have a Blue Yeti microphone, which I got over the Christmas time, which you guys are hearing me on now. Um, I also have a microphone on my headset, a um, microphone on my computer, and then just default stuff. Um, I don't really worry about these. These are just defaults. They come on um, when you've already got the, the software. So I don't really mess with these. If you're like a audio and a video technical person, you can screw around with those. I don't really care. Hotkeys are your own personal um, thing. I just use X and Z to start and stop recording. Because those are the keys I barely use like in games and stuff. It's usually WASD or 
the um, up down left right keys um, I don't really know but I just used Z to start X to stop and then I just have none because I don't really I don't stream so I don't have any stream key, uh, keys or anything like that and I don't know what the um, other stuff is but these are like mute mic keys so if you're like streaming and you're like well I'm gonna go get a drink of water I'll just press number zero and it mutes my mic so that's all the stuff now advance is where the magic happens for video and I don't know not a lot of audio but all right so I'm gonna give you all my settings here it all depends on what settings you like don't um, if, you're, if your audio if your video sucks after this video and you try all my settings it's your your setting my settings are probably not um, for your computer it's just a difference between your computer and my computer my computer is probably better than your computer or your computer is probably better than my computer I don't know um, it just all depends on your computer so let's start um, all of this is just on your thing but this is where the video is so for this I use very fast now super fast and ultra fast are for those good computers but if you have a sucking computer Faster and fast would be pretty good for you, but very fast is for those uh, normal and good computers. Um, encoding profile high. Um, keyframe interval will be two. Use CFR. Now, on the other one you wouldn't use it, but on this you would. Um, custom encoder settings that's off, not on. Um, encode in full range is off. Um, this is off. Audio, force desktop audio to use time lapse as based audio time, keep that on. And everything else is off, um, except blind view interface is default, and then everything that is 20. Um, quick sync encoder, I don't touch this. This is on its own track right here. It already has some default settings that you get when you download it. You don't really have to mess with this, but if you're like a geek of, of this stuff, then you can do that. Microsoft noise gauge, um, it basically changes how your audio thingy sounds, so it's milliseconds attack time, um, enabled noise gauge, so you basically see my talkingness, see, you can see, talk, oh, yeah, and then scene switcher, you can switch in between, um, scenes, so let's just say you have a game on one thing, and then you want to switch to a, another game. Uh, you can just switch the scene by using a hotkey, so I'll use number, I'll use O, so I'll switch from Call of Duty to World Warships, BAM, click the key, and you're good. So I think I'll leave this video here. Uh, that's just how to use OBS. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Um, I'll leave the link to OBS in the description below if you um, want to download this, try it for yourself. Try to use some of the settings. Uh, tell me how it works as well in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe for more of my awesome videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.